Hello, welcome along. Hope you're all doing well. Today I have some really exciting news for Xbox simmers everywhere. We are back in the PMDG 737-800 and an update has just dropped which now includes the much anticipated Universal Flight Tablet. Uh, it's been a long time coming and I don't know what kind of witchcraft and black magic they had to use to get it working although I hear there may have been a couple of sacrificial PS5s and maybe a couple of goats. But here it is in all its glory and I'm absolutely delighted to inform you that it works flawlessly on the Series X and I could not be happier. So let's dive in and check it out. So it is optional and you'll need to activate it from the FMC uh, when you first load in. So if we go into the PMDG menu and equipment and if we go back to page 16 then we, at the bottom there we have the flight tablet and we can either activate it or deactivate it. So obviously if we have no, uh, we have a quick look. As you can see it has disappeared. So. Uh, let's just pop back down and switch it back on. So we go yes. And there it is back again. So on the initial screen then you have these two icons, one for the electronic flight bag and one for the performance tool. Uh, now in the future there are going to be some more I believe uh, so we can control a few more things that we can do in the FMC like uh, pushback, uh, fueling and all that kind of thing. But at the moment there's just these two so uh, let's go into the EFB and there you go, this is the home screen and we've got a few uh, menus down the left hand side there um, we've got our flight details, uh, weather and on the right hand side we've got our map and some options for that down the right hand side which we'll go through shortly uh, but first of all we're going to go into the settings for the EFB and this is the general preferences and uh, we can change the tablet brightness uh, at the top there uh, I like to have it around about there uh, and we've got our sim brief alias that we can drop in uh, weather source can either be generated from the sim or real world, so we'll go with sim. Uh, on screen keyboard, now this is the only thing that doesn't work on the Xbox, so it has to be selected as off and you need to plug in uh, a keyboard, uh, which we've obviously all got a keyboard, so no major problem. Uh, then we can have the theme preference, and then we have a whole raft of different preferences for units uh, distance, altitude, length, speed, airspeed, temperature, pressure, and weight. Uh, and then most importantly uh, down the bottom here we've got the Navigraph authentication now I'm currently signed in uh, but when you first log in you'll have a sign in button and it'll pop a QR code up in the middle of the screen and you just scan that on your phone and it, it lets you sign in on your Navigraph account so uh, that's all good and then we just hit save preferences and OK uh, so that is the general preferences right let's head back to the home screen then and we'll request our data from Simbrief uh, for our flight details so click on the big blue button there and that will bring our latest uh, generated flight plan in from Simbrief and it just populates all the flight details with our call sign, aircraft type, all that kind of thing and then across the middle there we've got our departure and arrival airports and towards the bottom if we hit uh, departure on the weather it brings up the meta for Zurich which is where we are and you can also have a simplified version uh, which is our winds and temperatures and Q&H and, uh, and we can do the same uh, for our arrival airport which is going to be Frankfurt today so if we go to our arrival there we go there's the live meta for Frankfurt and also again we can click the simple button and it just gives us the, the basics uh, so that is the weather uh, moving over uh, to the right then uh, and the map we have a few different options that we can cycle through for the map uh, on the top there uh, we can choose whether it's day or night so you can just toggle that between day and night uh, let's leave it on day uh, we can go full screen if we want to just expand that uh, and obviously we can also zoom in and zoom out on the map and by default it will always center on our little pink aircraft in the middle there uh, so what we can do is we can click the lock location button and that just lets us scroll around and explore the map in a bit more detail uh, and then if we click lock location again it hops us back to our current location and it centers us on our pink plane and then finally down the bottom we've got a really cool feature if we press the switch map button it uh, uses the Navigraph map uh, which has got a lot of detail if you zoom right in uh, keep zooming in zooming in on our airfield uh, you can see all the taxiways uh, stand numbers and this is really invaluable for taxiing as well once you've received your clearance from ATC you can sort of explore all the taxiways plan your route out to your departure runway uh, so yeah uh, really really nice feature and again if you click the lock location button um, it will centre us back on our aircraft um, and that will move as we taxi it will follow us along so that's dynamic as well so it's, uh, it's a really nice feature and that is pretty much it for the map
and back over to the menu on the left hand side then the next button down is for our Simbrief flight plan and there we go as you can see that's brought in all the data from our latest generated flight plan so it gives us all our fuel and our weights and routing everything we need for our flight okay so to the next button down then and this is the big one it's our Navigraph charts and this works so well I can't tell you so we click the departure button and it brings up all the charts for here in Zurich so if we click on the airport uh, we can locate our airport info chart which is here uh, so there we go we can zoom in on it uh, we can also see our location marked with the little blue plane in the center if I just zoom in a bit more there we go and we can obviously also uh, pin charts like we do in Navigraph so we just click the pin chart button uh, and that adds it to our pin section uh, we can also go full screen with the charts as well and we can also toggle our aircraft icon uh, at the bottom there so if we click toggle aircraft icon uh, we can swap between a plane we can have a blue dot like that or we can have it switched off uh, I just prefer the default plane because it sort of shows you the direction you're pointing in and then similar to the map we can toggle day and night mode as well at the top there okay so uh, let's uh, pin some more charts so let's go to our departures and let's select the Degas 5 Lima departure and let's zoom in a little bit on that, let's go full screen so that shows us our departure nicely and again this is a, a dynamic chart so your, your plane will follow the line as you fly the SID and then obviously you've also got all your speed constraints and altitude constraints uh, on screen just as a little uh, visual reminder as you, as you fly out um, so that's really cool as well uh, let's also pin that chart as well so click the pin chart button there we go okay then let's have a look at some of our arrival charts then so uh, go to airport again for Frankfurt and we can locate the airport charts which are just here and there we go there's uh, Frankfurt in all its glory uh, so let's uh, let's stick a pin on that and let's also take a look at our arrival so let's click on the star button and we're gonna arrive on let's go the MPAX 5 Alpha our nav approach so we'll click that there we go and again pin that and let's also have a look at some parking stands in Frankfurt so I go back to airport and if we scroll down the bottom we should find some different parking stands we've got uh, west uh, restrictions for various aircraft so let's go parking stands east and we'll we'll drop a pin on that as well and if we come up to the top and click the pin button uh, there we go we've got all our airport information for our flight for both the departure and arrival uh, that's our departure from Zurich and our arrival into Frankfurt and actually we didn't pin our approach chart did we so let's hit the search button and go back to our Frankfurt approaches and let's scroll down to runway 25 right uh, which will be right down the bottom and we'll go in on ILS Yankee 25 right and let's pin that and if we go into our pinned approaches there's our ILS runway there okay so that's pretty much it for our Navigraph charts we've pinned everything we need for our flight so um, let's go back and hit the home button uh, there we go another cool feature is we have a tablet on the first officer's side which works independently to the pilots so uh, let's go across to the first officer's tablet and if we click the EFB icon uh, we could also have the map running at full screen on the first officer's side um, just leave that running and you can always check that at any point during the flight and then for example we might have the charts running on the pilot side so just a bit of flexibility there okay so that is pretty much it uh, for the EFB side of things um, so let's press the home button on the tablet there and let's turn our attentions to the performance calculator so we'll click that icon and there we go that brings up our performance page for our takeoff so we can import from our flight plan uh, we can select our runway uh, and that populates all the information we can select our uh, conditions so we'll say dry and then we can also import our aircraft data uh, so we've got all our weights and balances and we can select our flaps for takeoff and also we just hit the import weather button and then we're ready to hit the green calculate button so let's press that and there we go that gives us all the info we need to enter into our FMC so we've got our V speeds we've got our cell temp 
and all that kind of thing. And then we can do the same for our landing dispatch. So again, we can import from the flight plan, uh, select our arrival runway, which uh, let's go 25 right. Um, again, we can import our weather, hit the calculate button, and we get our V refs and weights. And then if we hit the landing en route button, we can calculate our performance for landing. So uh, let's add in uh, just a random weight for now that's going to work for us. So let's say 60,000 kilos. And let's put our landing flaps at 30, uh, just for the purposes of this. Again, you'd, you'd populate this during the flight, so I'm not going to worry too much about the auto brakes and uh, special conditions. That's all fine. So uh, we've imported the weather, so let's hit the green calculate button. And there we go, it gives us our weight, our VRF, uh, and our landing distances. So you can get a sort of basic taste of um, what it's going to do for us. Okay, so that concludes our first look at the Universal Flight Tablet on Xbox for the PMDG 737-800. I can't tell you how happy I am to have this finally in the aircraft. Uh, it works really well. I don't know how they've done it, but they have. So. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful, if you did give it a like, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching, bye bye.